Welcome to my channel. I want to talk about a couple of news stories on both sides of the pond that lead to a much bigger question. But before I do that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and commenting. Thank you for just subscribing and, and being a part of this community that we're building. And thank you for the amazing growth of my channel. I'm amazed by it. I really am. And I'm thankful to every one of you that comes, whether you watch one video or you subscribe and hang out. I'm just thankful. Thank you. <clears throat> so, uh, I watched this last night. What this is, is a video <clears throat> of, uh, uh, I need to turn my headphones back down. That drives me crazy. Uh, this is a video of a, a group called Students for Life that goes around to college campuses <clears throat> and gives speeches and, <clears throat> and answers questions uh, of students. Uh, obviously about abortion and I'm not here to talk about abortion that's not the point of this but I want you to see what goes on at these uh, speeches and then I want to talk about something that's going on in Britain So, when did it become acceptable to disrupt presentations at colleges? I guarantee you that if it was a presentation on communism or Marxism, there would be no protesters screaming. But yet there are here, and it gets much worse. So the Nazis go home. Nazis go home. Nazis go home. So what you have is you have people that have come to this thing sincerely wanting to ask questions, either in support of or in opposition to what they're promoting, which is uh, students for life, not abortion. To they want to er eradicate abortion completely from America. And then you have this other group that shows up that their entire goal is just to disrupt and terrorize and prevent this from going forward. Nothing go home! Where is the campus security? Not they, they can't disrupt this. Nothing go home! Nothing go home! Stop, just stop. Nothing go home! Just stop, just stop. Nothing. Now this gentleman that's coming out is security for these people, for the Students for Life people. He is not police. Go home! Nazis 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 go Oh yeah, he made it. He made it. Yeah, he made it. Hi guys, how's everybody doing tonight? Oh, what you gonna do? We're gonna dox us? No, no interest in that. Uh, we are gonna have a real conversation. So right there, the man with the megaphone attacked the cameraman. <clears throat> and actually damaged his camera. Later on, that uh, young lady that you saw dressed in the, uh, I'm going to call it blue, because I'm not that knowledgeable about colors, dress with the long hair, 
She is the local chapter president. She was assaulted and in, her leg was injured. Eventually, the campus police came. And what they did was they made the Students for Life people leave the room. And then, after a while, they arrested a couple of the Antifa people for assault. But <clears throat> they clearly were not, uh, not interfering with this so-called protest at all. I mean, that was obviously not their goal. So... That's enough of that. I'll put the link in the description. You can see it. But here's an article that I found. Are Islamists in charge of Britain? And if you read this article, basically what happened was they had a uh, situation in Parliament where some of the uh, members of the House of Commons <clears throat> were so intimidated by the Islamists that are protesting in Britain in large, large numbers that they voted in favor of an Islamist proposition. And there are actually um, members of parliament who are wearing uh, what they call knife vests to protect themselves from being stabbed and members of parliament that are stepping down because they are so afraid of being attacked. I'll put the link to this in the description as well. You can read the article if you're interested. But what I want to talk about is when did we get the point to the point in our society where violence was allowed? When did we get to the point in our society where disrupting meetings and being absolutely boorish in your behavior was acceptable, was allowed, was condoned. You know, one of the axioms of life is that there are consequences to actions. Yet there seem to be very little consequence to these people that are committing acts of violence. Uh, I, I don't recall exactly when it was, 2021, I think, when uh, in Portland they attacked a federal building and nothing was done. Nothing was done to those people. The message that we're sending is that if you stand for a certain principle, then you can use whatever force you want and nothing will happen to you. And when you send that message, it gets received. And, you know, I'm, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I, I really am not. I don't believe in conspiracies because <clears throat> it's almost impossible to keep them secret. But you do have to wonder what is going on all over the civilized world where people are being allowed to commit acts of violence, being allowed to uh, basically attack people and attack government buildings and attack government employees and nothing happens to them. They don't go to jail. They don't even get arrested. You know... Nothing in life happens by accident. This banner, this backdrop behind me, is not an accident. I chose it. The fact that I'm on this channel is not an accident. I chose to do this. I could have easily said, forget it. I could quit at any time if I chose to. So, when you see people committing acts of violence like this and nothing is happening to them, that's a deliberate decision by someone. Someone or some ones are deciding that it's okay to allow violence as a form of quote, quote, protest. And 
when you see that, you have to ask yourself, what, what's their plan? What, what is the end goal of allowing this to happen? Because we all know that at some point in time, if this doesn't stop, there are people who are opposed to it are going to pick up arms and they're going to re resist it. They're going to fight back, which means the violence will escalate and escalate and escalate. And the end result will be the collapse of civilization. And who does that benefit? Not you and me. Not the peaceful people, that's for sure. So you have to ask yourself, what is going on? What, what is the end goal? What's the plan behind all of this activity that's happening? And who are the people that will benefit from it? And when you find the answer to that, then you'll have a better understanding of why our world is the way it is now. And it might end up being a little frightening to discover that. But I can tell you who's behind it. Ultimately, the, the absolute soul leader of it all, it's Satan. Now, I know there's a lot of you who don't believe there is a Satan. And that's fine. You can believe that if that's what you want to believe. But I'm telling you, he is the God of this world. He orchestrates all of this in many different ways, which we could talk about, but that's not the point of this video. But it's all designed to achieve an end goal. And the end goal doesn't look good for those of us who are not violent. Doesn't look good at all. So, yeah, I hate to be always negative about this stuff, but there's a lot of negative stuff going on in the world. And I feel an obligation to at least make you aware of it, and then what you do with it is up to you. So... That's my downer for the day. Maybe I should start a, a, a daily episode on my channel of downer of the day and just start reporting on all this stuff because it's, I mean, I read another story today which I didn't bring up and I won't link to because I haven't researched it, uh, that the Chinese have built a bioweapon lab in America and our government's allowing it. Uh, these are troubling times, that's for sure. But, you know, God is above it all, and he can protect us if we believe in him and we pray for his help. And so I pray that you will live an abundant life, that you'll be healthy, that you'll live a long time, and that God will keep you safe from harm. And I pray that he'll do the same for every single person that you love. And I also pray that you will be anxious for nothing. I hope my videos don't make you anxious. But please be anxious for nothing but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind. In Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet out.